Okay, so I have to share some hints and tips on a ramp and system which I have uh, arrived at through experimentation with different setups and uh, I finalized it to maximum delivery and efficiency let us say so first of all This is our system, it is a 2 inch ramp pump, meaning the internal diameter of all the components is 2 inches. Okay, we have a drive pipe that is about 18 meters, which is the thing, the minimum requirement. Maybe if it's longer it would be better. And uh, over here we have a, a stand pipe which is about five and a half meters high because uh, we had to to get our source uh, using 250 meters long plastic pipe because we don't have a, a very good slope so in order to break the pressure of the supersonic shock waves we have moved our source over here so instead of uh, the drive pipe driving the water from 250 meters further away it starts from here the reason we do that is because Every time the, the hammer effect takes effect, the supersonic shock wave actually reverses or stops the flow, if you don't have a standpipe, back to the whole 250 meter long pipe. So in order to reload, it takes a lot of time, so it... Uh, it slows down the cycles and it's much less efficient. So what actually we're doing, we're breaking the supersonic shock waves on this vertical standpipe which is about 18 meters far from our pump. So our system is 2 inches, our delivery pipe is uh, metal so it doesn't move a lot and absorb much of the supersonic shock waves and lose efficiency. It is a 2 inch internal diameter metal pipe and our stand pipe is 2.5 inches. It's a little bit bigger. And the pipe, the plastic pipe that goes into the stand pipe is also a little bit bigger. Well actually the internal diameter is 2 inches but it should be a little bit bigger than the drive pipe, this metal pipe. So if this is 2 inches, the plastic pipe that comes to the stand pipe should be 2 and a quarter and the stand pipe should be 2 and a half. So, the delivery pipe. Now, we have tested a lot of different diameters for delivering the water and we found out that the best, uh, the most efficient delivery pipe, the one that produces uh, the bigger amount of water per minute, is actually a 2 inch pipe. It's a little bit less than 2 inches, uh, but it should be 2 inches. If you run a smaller pipe and you have uh, a long delivery pipe, the resistance will slow down your water flow. So, usually they say that if you have a 2 inch uh, ramp pump, you should run a 1 inch uh, delivery pipe, but we found out that a 2 inch delivery pipe actually gives us a lot more flow. Okay, so 
two and a half inches uh, the pipe that goes into the stand pipe not two and a half two and a quarter two and a half inches the stand pipe two inches the delivery pipe for a two inch system and two uh, the drive pipe two inches and two inches the delivery pipe so we follow the path of less resistance okay so let us see what's going on okay we're standing the pipe we have opened the two inch delivery system okay another problem that we encountered is that the longer the delivery pipe the more resistance into the system so the less the water flow it actually gives on your outlet so what we did is we are running this 2 inch system a little bit less than 2 inch but it should be 2 inch internal diameter for a 2 inch ramp pump which has to go up to 25 meters okay 25 meters height our head height from the source is five five and a half meters so what we did is that we actually over here somewhere in the middle of a run we put another mini stand pipe the reason we do that is because if you continue running the system the resistance that is created from the pipes, the delivery pipes is going to slow down your system so what we're actually doing we use the pressure from the ramp pump to drive the water here you can see that and from here and on becomes gravity fed so all this re the resistance stops here and from here and onwards instead of pressure fed the water is gravity fed okay so you can run as long of a pipe as you wish from here and on because it just works with gravity not uses the pressure from the pump to pump the water. Okay. Over here, for about 50 meters, maybe a little bit more, 50 meters from uh, the creek. And this is what we get. still has some air inside so it's not our full flow but it's a pretty good flow if I didn't do that if I didn't put the stand pipe the, the flow of water over here would be two or three times less so we convert pressure fed to gravity fed now theoretically I can put a much taller pipe in order to run the water over there and theoretically, because I haven't tested it if I was able to put down there let's say I want to send my water 25 meters up high if I was able, and I will try that Stand, a stand pipe just like this one which is about 25 meters high okay that means that it would get the least uh, length of the delivery pipe and from the 25 meters up to 
the 25 meters over there, it will all be gravity fed. That means that I will have about five, six, seven times more water flow than I would if I was to run a delivery pipe of 100 meters long. Okay, so it's 25 meters pressure fed, and then I can put as much length of a delivery pipe because it uh, becomes now gravity fed so we'll try that too but with this mini stand pipe I've managed to increase the flow a lot now the water is down there if I take uh, my pipe more upwards the level will be up here up here until it exceeds and starts flowing off. So I'm going to put another pipe to drive it further up. So this is what uh, we have arrived for maximum delivery of water and maximum efficiency. We also do some modifications to the flapper valves so they work more efficiently. This is a lot of water. This is a, a one and a half, more than one and a half, one and a half inch pipe. No, one and three quarters inch pipe. It's a big pipe. It's a lot of water. Just put it, and I can continue because it's gravity fed. I can continue and put more of this pipe and run it to wherever I want now because it feeds from gravity and not through the system so I can run it even for kilometers now without losing any uh, flow without increasing, uh, decreasing the flow this is great because we have a big land we have a lot of height that we have to cover and we need as much water as we can in order to irrigate this 10 acre property. I'm gonna have some more habitats when I put a 25 meter standby over there. And if you put a 25 meter standby over there, you can move your your delivery pipe up and down, take it wherever you want without changing anything in your system. Okay, because the lower you go, the lower the water would be in the stand pipe, and the higher you go, the higher the water. This is it. Now we can start irrigating this whole property easily. Down there, we have 25, 30, 30 liters per minute, we have a lot of flow. Up here, we're about, at about 15, 18, 15 liters per minute, which is, uh, which is good.